Today I want to talk about Bombardier, the train and plane manufacturer that's listed in Toronto. It first came to our attention in December 2017 when we ran it through our governance accounting and peer performance model and it scored incredibly badly. We thought at the time that perhaps the balance sheet was being manipulated and the profits being massaged. Since then, there have been lots and lots of asset sales and capital raisings, and management keeps talking about a return to profitability, but it always is two years out. Early 2018, the share price actually started to rise because investors believed what management was promising. Unfortunately, since then, reality struck, and the share price is now down 30% since our original report. But before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulation, we can't make recommendations and none of what follows should be considered as investment advice. However, we do think that anybody considering an investment in Bombardier would be very wise to consider the following. The first thing to consider is their corporate governance. The company has a two-tier shareholder structure which allows the family to remain in control even though they have a relatively small stake. The second governance problem is that half the board lives overseas, far away, and presumably not able to interfere with day-to-day -day operations. Finally, we're concerned about the audit fees. They seem much, much lower than we would expect for a diversified conglomerate of this size. The second thing to consider is their accounting. Now, everything they do is strictly legal, but that's not to say it's not creative. We think the balance sheet's been flattered and debt levels minimised and profits boosted, possibly massaged, in a way that persuades shareholders that the company's on the way to recovery. The third thing is performance. For years, management has been promising a return to profitability and cash generation, but it just always seems to be two years away. For most of that time, the problems were in plane manufacturing. In the recent result, problems appeared in train manufacturing. Now, in the past they had to restate their results because they've been booking profits on contracts that hadn't even been signed yet. And now it appears they've been under-costing those contracts still. Ultimately, the real problem is they've just spent too much money. And where in all the annual reports and presentations they talk about a return to EBIT, the problem is that shareholders don't benefit from EBIT, shareholders benefit from net income. EBIT is flattered thanks to consolidated accounting, whereas net income is marginal at best. We think there is very little to offer for shareholders in this company, and we notice that their suppliers are starting to get worried and have started to increase their credit costs. These are just some of the problems that Bombardier faces. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. And if you'd like to keep up to date with our videos, please subscribe using the buttons below. Thank you very much for your time.